I don't know what's going to happen when it hits the, uh... Well, that was bad. Oh, the destroyer's amazing! Hello, everybody! Great Steel Blades, and we're back with more Beam NG Drive! Out here, in beautiful Mammoth Valley. Look at the snow. Look at the ice. Beautiful mountains topped with nature's deadly glaze. And today... I felt bad because I didn't do any of the spike strips that I said I was going to do in the last episode and we haven't done spike strips in a long time. So there's going to be spike strips, but there's more. There's going to be epic sadness and destitution as well. Over here, it's the aftermath of a police chase gone awry. Yes, the Mammoth Valley County Sheriff's Department has forgotten to pick up the spike strip. Luckily, Philip and James, who were in the car with Carl and Joseph, decided to get out and move this spike strip because look at this, all these other vehicles, this guy over here with his camper got detached, he's very sad and everything like that. What could possibly go wrong? All they have to do is walk over and grab the spike strip, but something thunders in the distance. What could it be? I'll tell you what it is. It is bad luck. The likes of which ye have never seen, right there. Joseph gets hammered. His entire family in shambles. Oh no. <laughs> he just got pulverized again over here. What was left of the two that were inside of the car? Hanging on for dear life, well, dear life lost, I should say. I don't know who's who. I have a feeling this was our very first gentleman who now appears to be missing an arm. If all that happened was your arm missing after that hit, I would consider you to be very lucky. Somehow the camper got out of this completely unscathed I've done this crash several times. It's amazing because it's different every time and there's so much other stuff that we can do with it. Oh my God though, these dummies are pains in the asses to set up. My good man behind you for the love of God, look out. Oh, the angel smiled upon him today for he managed to, oh wow, what a hit. For he managed to dodge certain death and doom. Actually, all of them have dodged, nope, never mind. He's riding. He's hood surfing now, baby. Hood surfing now. And like a... <laughs> it was like a giant swing. You guys know that maneuver for like 1980s WWF wrestling? Is that an engine laying on the ground? Is that a crumpled up engine laying on the ground? This guy over here just got tossed. Like, like a father playing with an eight-year-old child, swinging him around in a circle. That's basically what just happened here. But the only difference is now his giblets are sitting underneath the exhaust of this red bullet over here. The, the camper, you know, it's, it's been kind of impressive. It's taken the hits very well. I'm very surprised. I mean, if you were inside, you may be a little shooken up. You know how it is. But uh, you'd be fine. I know what you're asking. What about the two guys that were in the convertible? Why are they even in a convertible? I don't know. They're Canadian or something, okay? They're really good with the cold. Well, they're down here. Uh, things aren't looking good, quite honestly. Things aren't looking good. As a matter of fact, if things could get any worse, everyone has the vehicle just plowing on top of them now. It is a whole host of bad dreams. Cinematic perspective, go! Yes! Oh yes! Like a rifle round. Oh, the bodies have gone flying. Don't worry everyone, no one was injured in this particular BeamNG experiment. They're all just dummies after all. All just dummies. Last two vehicles coming in from the rear, impacting with the camper in such a way that the camper detonates the, the, <laughs> oh my God. I, wow, both of these guys got launched. Look at this. I think one guy is over here. I have no clue 
where the secondary guy is. Oh, never mind. We have one and we have two. The bodies were just blasted out of the convertible at different angles. That's all. Someone out there is like, but Gray, what about ludicrous speed? All right, we'll do ludicrous speed. Make President Scroob proud. Spaceballs dash cam. Spaceballs dash cam. We don't have time for your crap, Red Bullet. Get out of the way, you're too slow. I'm gonna have to put space balls ahead of the Red Bullet. I can't believe how much faster it is. It is insanely faster. Wow, the Red Bullet just took off. And here we go. Sadness. Destruction. Oh, I can't even see what happened at this point. It is just a smorgasbord of cars exploding, bodies flying, vehicles twisting around side by side. Oh, look at this, it's Dubai. Dubai finally decided to join the party at like, 10 miles an hour. Baseballs is in front now. We're doing this hardcore, boys. We're doing this hardcore. Oh, it's gonna be friggin' horrible. Oh, and the glitchiness has begun. The impact is brutal. Twisted wreckage of cars goes flying. Pieces. Guts. Spinning around. Dubai. Where's the red vehicle at? I I actually don't know where the red vehicle's at. It's totally possible it got rear-ended or something. The two the two guys that were gonna go help by taking out the uh <laughs> that were gonna help by taking out the spike strip are actually totally fine here. They didn't end up taking any of the damage. And uh one more hit! I figured why not? One more hit. It looks like something out of War of the Worlds is happening to the car in the background. Due to the insanity of the glitchiness. Oh, there's the red car. Finally decided to join the party, did you? Good. Good. There's not much left for you to crash into, though. Oh, never mind. I guess there was. Wow. It's going to end up RKOing that car right into the other spike strip just about. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, but Gray, can you make them all super big vehicles that pulverize everything they touch? Of course I can. So here it is, boys. The Silver Bullet, along with the Ramulence, and this random box truck, a shorty. They're all going to be flying down the icy, treacherous roads towards certain death. But what should stand in their way? A bunch of crash test dummies. Go, my sons! Go forth! I think this may be a little bit too treacherous for the Silver Bullet. I know you guys love the Silver Bullet, but oh no! <laughs> Oh, the silver bullet! Oh, the silver bullet! The silver bullet's down. The rambulance is doing real well, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, listen to that engine purr. Listen to that engine purr. The rambulance takes no prisoners! The rambulance takes no prisoners! And the first dummy gets rebated! And wow, it just, like, it can just plow vehicles out of the way. Hell and destruction, boys. Hell and destruction. I actually don't know what happened to the other shorty bus thing. Since the shorty mobile didn't want to participate, I've replaced it with this gigantic fire and rescue truck. And also, since the silver bullet couldn't handle these roads, we've got this monster truck. Today's episode of BeamNG is sponsored by Red Bull. Don't kill yourself with cigarettes. Do it with repeated exposure to energy drinks. Things are looking good. What could possibly go wrong? Man, I'm surprised at how fast that, uh, that fire truck is. Oh, no. I don't even know if the... Whoa! I was gonna say, I don't even know if the spike strips slowed it down in the slightest. Oh, it is lifting off the ground. Oh, that's bad in different ways that can't easily be expressed in words. What happened? Hold on. What happened to the, to the convertible? Oh no! Oh, the occupants! They're fine, sort of. They're just shorter and more limber. Oh, so nice of you to join us, Red Bull! Not that there's anything left for you to wreck! That Wow, that didn't do anything to the tires. Hi! Hey! How's it going there, Rambulance? Wow! The Red Bull Mobile completely obliterated! The trailer, look, it is just in pieces. Today we're going to watch from the perspective of these two dummies that are sitting inside of the car. Yes, cinematic view, sort of. It's kind of like shaky cam. It's almost like watching uh, the Blair Witch Project or Cloverfield or something. See, everything looks pretty normal right now. They're just sitting there 
when all of a sudden... Oh, 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 oh. oh my god! Oh, wow. Well, there's not much left to destroy, but I guess it's good of you guys to show up. Bye! Oh. I've decided we need another one of these. Because why not, really? Why not? Hi there, Red Bull. Red Bull incoming! Well, I'm gonna tell you, there's really nothing. Once the Red Bull creature hits everyone, there's very little left. Oh, that poor guy! Oh, oh no! Oh! Holy God! Okay. Oh, there's bodies. Oh, the bodies are skipping off of their old cage. Oh, they're skipping off their old cage. Okay, hold on. Stop. Stop. Everyone, stop. Hold on. I need to mention something real quick. That body just utilized the freaking monster truck's uh, roll cage like a trampoline. I've actually never seen anything like that before. Is this a part of the... Yep, that's a part of the monster truck. One of the bodies somehow caught in between the rambulance and a hard place, literally. The other one, I... It's like, it's like, where's Waldo? I actually have no idea where most of these guys are. Oh, there's, there's a guy. I think part of the frame is literally stabbing him in the tallywhacker. Then there's another gentleman over here that uh, appears to be in pieces, literally in pieces, which is probably what would actually happen. See, what BeamMG is, is it's like a safety course, really. This is showing you what would happen if you didn't drive responsibly. If you were this guy, you'd probably be pissing yourself, but you would be fine. One more time, I really wanna watch these two get hit in like super slow motion. I think now the monster truck is always the first guy over the uh, over the spike strip there. He seems to be real, real good at picking up ahead. Yeah, look at that, man. That grip on those tires must be fantastic. All right, so right about, right about, there goes one guy. Here, this is where the magic happens. It's a beautiful ramp job too. Just cars detonating on impact, twisted wreckage. Even the, even the camper gets vaulted off of the ground. Random tires flying, sadly. Bodies twisted in the metal as more tires go flying. I think that's like a bumper or something way over there. The rambulance, I can already see it. What do you guys think right now? What do you think? You think this guy's gonna get hit? I think he's gonna get hit. I don't, I think that guy over there is gonna be fine, but this guy's gonna be friggin' toast. Yep. There it is. Oh, going for a ride with the rambulance. Going for a freaking ride with the rambulance. And the rambulance says everyone out of the way. It doesn't care who you are. It doesn't care if you're a convertible. It doesn't care if you're a monster truck. The rambulance doesn't have time for your crap. Nor does the fire and rescue. Faults. Oh, oh, okay. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. The fire and rescue truck shredded the rambulance. I don't think I've ever seen that yet. I don't think I've ever seen anyone shred the, the rambulance. There is a new vehicle in Beam NG that may be the most powerful creation ever known. It is called the Destroyer. It is a dump truck that goes 300 kilometers per hour with a giant plow on the front. It has no time for your crap and it will detonate anything that gets in front of it. It is now going to be leading the pack because, well, first off, it may replace the silver bullet as the most ridiculously fast, stupid, penetrative vehicle ever made if it can hold on to the icy roads. The destroyer is off. The destroyer is driving pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite impressed. I don't know what's going to happen when it hits the, uh, well, that was bad. Oh, the destroyer's amazing. The destroyer's continuing onward. Let us go over here before we miss this. How did this guy not get killed? I need to know. Oh, body went flying. Car goes flying. And now, okay, hold on real quick. This is like a scene from Final Destination. You know, like you just barely got clipped in a crash and you know, whatever, like your pelvis is broken and everything. 
but you can probably crawl from the wreckage, right? You're like, uh -huh. it could have been so much worse. Well, that right there, my friends, is worse. That is worse. Oh, that is worse in ways that cannot, that can, oh my God. Oh, it's horrible. It is dragging him. It is dragging the dummy with it. And finally, it comes to rest with the dummy firmly attached to his rear wheel. Let us watch the destroyer together from here so that we may absorb all of its majesty. We shall watch it in full speed. Okay, it is fast. Oh, holy crap. Everything's gone. Everything's completely destroyed. The Rambulance, there's nothing left for you, Rambulance. All right, well, there may be a couple things. I was wrong. There may be a couple things. Hi. Hi there, trailer. How are you doing? Oh, the only thing that's left over here is the, uh, the floor. Well, isn't that nice? Oh, the Destroyer is just so good. Now, I know what you're asking, but Gray, can the Destroyer launch a dummy from inside of a closed vehicle? I wondered the same thing. Let's find out. Here we go, boys. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. Closed vehicle or not, the Destroyer will wreck your vehicular anus. The destroyer has taken a couple of pieces of vehicles with it. Oh my God, the destroyer is the new silver bullet. It's so good. Over here, the rambulance and the fire department finally coming in. Oh, there goes a body. How was that? That was quite nice, actually. And there's the fire department, although there's really nothing left for it to do, but I guess hit the destroyer, and the destroyer really doesn't have time for that. Let's do some first person view. What would it be like inside of here with our buddy sitting here with us? I, I have a feeling that if you like easily get seasick, it's about to happen because we're probably going to flip like 800 times. Whoa, never seen the destroyer do that. We're fine. We're totally fine. Nothing bad happened to us. Yeah, whoa, okay. I was wrong. We're still all right, though, really. All right, now we're not. Yep. Now we're not. Now it's bad. Now it, it went from bad. It went from not so bad to bad. Okay. Everyone's twisted. I have never seen the Destroyer have its front end ripped off almost like that. Holy crap. Man, I gotta tell you, fast vehicles are fun like this. But the big vehicles are even better. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of BeamNG Drive. Hope you enjoyed some of the most ridiculous crashes we've seen. <laughs> I think this was an awesome idea. Thank you for reminding me about the spike strips. It's been far too long. But the question is, what else will we see right over here to finish it off? Right in the back of the rambulance. All right, guys. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.